the market. We will come back to this, but first up, let's get you a corporate conversation going because we are in the midst of the earnings season. So I'm going to uh, invite the management of Dwarke Sugar on the show now. They reported healthy revenue growth, but what came under pressure this time was the margin, specifically in the distillery segment. So to discuss the quarter four earnings and how the current year is panning out, we are joined by the management. MD Vijay Banka joins us now. Mr. Banka, thanks a lot for joining us. This is Pavitra. So, you know, like I was pointing out, the sore point this time seems to be the margins, particularly in the distillery business. Can you tell us what happened on that front and what is the outlook here? Do you expect that this segment will remain under pressure for a while? Uh, very good morning, Pavitra. Uh, well, yes, I must confess that, yes, uh, this quarter has been rather uh, muted in terms of performance. And uh, more particularly, as he pointed out, uh, the distillery segment. Yes, the distillery segment, uh, you see, there are two, three things that have happened. Number one, uh, the recovery was rather low. Uh, you know, the sucrose content in the sugar uh, that we crushed was rather low, so it uh, directly impacts the uh, recoveries in the ethanol segment also. And number two, uh, we produced uh, uh, the entire ethanol that we produced and sold was by using sugarcane juice directly. And uh, the pricing of the uh, ethanol from sugarcane juice is uh, is little on the lower side. And uh, as compared to uh, the pricing of uh, ethanol that we make from bee heavy molasses. Uh, so uh, these are a couple of reasons why the uh, segment has been, uh, segment margins have been a little under pressure. What's the outlook, sir, on uh, the distillery segment margins going ahead? Uh, well, uh, uh, the two, three, uh, uh, once again, uh, you know, the sugar prices are uh, on the rebound now. They were <laughs> very, 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 very uh, subdued in the entire last year and more particularly the last quarter. And secondly, we are making efforts to, uh, uh, you know, recalibrate our var varietal mix, uh, you know, have more uh, variety where the sucrose content is higher because uh, the one variety that we have been ex uh, excessively depending upon 0238 has been under uh, the pest attack of red rot, which has uh, uh, created all kind of chaos in the uh, sugarcane growth. Uh, so the dependence on that particular variety is being uh, decreased. So we expect, and, uh, and uh, the model that we're going to follow is that uh, we will be making ethanol from juice directly the season. And during off season, we'll be using BAV molasses, which has already been generated and stored. So we're going to use that. Uh, so we will be able to, uh, uh, next fiscal, we'll be able to sell 11 crore liters of ethanol at least. So we expect uh, the, both the top line as well as the bottom line of the segment should uh, see some healthy growth. Okay. Um, Mr. Banka, you were just mentioning the sugar prices also, right, which are rebounding now pretty much at an all-time high. Can you tell us what the realizations have looked like? And I can understand that, you know, maybe Q4 will look a little bit warped because of what's going on with the prices. So what is the average realization for all of FI23? So the entire FY23, the realization has been around 3,450 or so. Uh, so uh, you see in, uh, uh, in the entire, in FY23, most of the sugar stock that we sold was what was produced from, uh, what was produced in FY uh, season 21, 22 and 22, 23, where the sugar grain price was higher. Uh, but uh, you're right, uh, the sugar prices have seen uh, some some kind of revival. Prices which are hovering around 3400 to 3450 are now at uh, around 3600 levels. And uh, well, as, uh, as you know, uh, the international prices are at all time high, but they have not found any resonance in the domestic prices. But going forward, yes, the sugar balance sheet uh, within the country looks uh, uh, good in the sense that uh, we will we expect to close the inventory levels at 6 million tons or so. So we assume, uh, we, we do expect that the sugar prices will remain uh, 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 remain at around 3,600 or 3,700 rupees going forward. And uh, uh, well, there is already fear of uh, El Nino uh, impacting the second half of two, uh, 22, uh, 2023. So well, we need to watch all the developments, but uh, we are optimistic that uh, sugar prices should do good in the coming uh, coming year. What about uh, exports? What are the export realizations? What are international sugar prices uh, looking like currently? And what's the volume of exports that you're targeting? Uh, well, international prices are at all-time high. They have crossed 30, uh, uh, 26 cents mark. Uh, 
and uh, you know if uh, if if you translate that to international sugar price into domestic prices then definitely it's over and above 4000 rupees a quintal uh, but anyways uh, uh, that hardly uh, matters uh, in the indian context because uh, the exports are controlled by the government uh, last uh, for the season 2022 23 governments announced a quota of 6 million tons uh, Government watches uh, the stock situation, so we we really don't know at this point in time how much export quota is going to be allowed in the coming year. But uh, uh, we uh, India is uh, fundamentally a sugar surplus uh, nation, sugar uh, producing surplus sugar producing nation. So I'm sure more export is going to be allowed for the season 2022 20, uh, 23 24 as well. So uh, it depends what policy the government frames because. Uh, uh, in 2022-23, the government allowed uh, sugar mills to swap their uh, export quota with the domestic quotas, and many mills, uh, many mills in uh, Uttar Pradesh, because we are in the hinterland and the transportation costs are higher, we swapped our quota with the uh, uh, with export quota with the domestic quota with mills in uh, Maharashtra. So the benefit of ex uh, higher export uh, domestic quota we should get in the coming six months. Okay, got that. Uh, there was also talk of ISMA cutting down the production targets, right? Can you tell us what this could do to your margins, uh, to your volumes? Do you expect that your volumes will come down for the coming year? See, ISMA has uh, come out with a number of 32.8 million tons of uh, production for season 22-23. Uh, mm -hmm. Most of the mills in Maharashtra and Karnataka have already concluded their crushing operations. So sugar mills in UP are uh, still working. There again, uh, some mills have already closed their concluded their crushing operations. So 32.5, uh, million tons indicates that, you know, we should end up with a closing inventory of around six to uh, six and a half million tons, which translates to uh, approximately three months consumption. So this is a healthy balance sheet, a balance sheet uh, where the sugar prices should be good. Uh, and at the same time, uh, 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 I don't think it will be that it will be so, uh, so much elevated that there could be inflationary pressures on the uh, inflationary pressures. Thank you very much um, for joining in. We need to slip into a very short break. On the other side, we'll discuss what's buzzing in the commodity space. Manisha Gupta joins in next.